And now, now, now. Mm, that's fun. Talk and rock. The Big Dumb Fun Show. Oh, you people. People can submit stuff to us. Info at BigDumbFunShow.com. There's also a link on our website. You can type into the form. Uh, Bob emails in. He said, I'm here, sitting here in Virginia uh, waiting for your discussion with Almost Kiss. Almost Peter's closely related uh, uh, little brother. I don't know. It's, it's in quotations. I don't know. Remembering him learn to play the drums by listening and playing the Kiss what albums on what sometimes ah. seemed like 24 hours a day. So, you know of a, good, a, a guy named Bob in Virginia? Ah. That's my brother. Yeah, that's your brother Bob. <laughs> hey, brother Bob! <laughs> so people are giving you shout outs. Uh, chat room loving you guys as well as uh, you are on the uh, the webcam, rocking the webcam, bigdumbfunshow.com. Also, uh, you can uh, pull that up via livestream.com and all that good stuff as well. Uh, we were talking about the newest member of Almost Kiss. You guys have kind of, I guess, kind of been around four years or so. Reformed and uh, Bobby became a, a member of the band who used to be in. Look, I, mean, I don't know why I have to look at this while I'm talking. Um, who used to be in Axiom? It look like that yeah, it doesn't look like this guy anyway. Le- there's less now. face paint on that. Gnurk, are you getting? Uh, can you get that? I'll hold up this. Uh, Wait. Hold up the put. Maybe I can. Hold um, it up. Hold it up. You're um, on the camera. So. Okay, I'm right here. Is what it is. So it used to be an axiom. This guy right here kind of uh, was on American Idol not too long ago. <laughs> kind of runner up. And uh, David Cook, as some people call him. This wasn't the, uh, the that was the axiom. Wasn't uh, the gay guy. Axiom. Oh, oh, <laughs> wasn't the Archuleta guy. Oh, hey, That's just between oh. you and me. Who's that so, other guy? Uh, so yeah, who's the other guy? I mean, nobody. Knows. What's going on here? So uh, so anyway, <laughs> David. Have, the thing is, uh, hey Jeff. Uh, David Cook decided that uh, we were the biggest thing when it came to local artists in the, the Kansas City area and emailed us and said, you know, hey, here's uh, something I want to really get out there. If you guys could just help help me out with this, that'd be great. And so we said, eh, whatever, it's David Cook. He's a famous guy. We'll try to, uh, you know, ride those coattails as much as we can. So, yeah, he's, out, he's got his own street sign now in Blue Springs. Makes me sick. I, uh, I just, actually, I stop at it and uh, hey, pay homage to you're it. You're from Pleasant Hill. What are you expecting? I don't want a street sign in Pleasant Hill, Gnurk. Home of Venkman. So, you want uh, to say Venkman, or you want to say A.K.A. Venkman? I don't care what it what it says. I just want it to say me. I could say me, M.E. I'd be okay with that. He sent us an email. I would know who it meant. What about Jiffy Jeff? <laughs> that's not nice. That's not, whose name is that? That does. That's nobody. <laughs> So oh so you have the black eye and you have the Bono glasses on is yes. that the deal I'm the, I'm oh, Kiss nice. Bono <laughs> Kiss Bono Shalomi <laughs> running the board tonight so uh, you were with uh, Axiom and then uh, what happened with Axiom they just totally just broke up lost the steam or he went um, he went on to do the the yeah, American Idol no. deal uh, Axiom broke. Is close enough? That's good enough for me. <laughs> That's close. You can please back away, sir. You're making me. Uh, no, uh, making me a little hot. Axiom broke up officially in 2006. Mm-hmm. In 2005. <clears throat> I announced that I was leaving the band, left the band, uh, and uh, moved to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Up north there. Where's it, Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Up in the U.S. Yeah. Ah. ah. Oh, up north. Up um, north. Up north. Yep, there, yonder. Right Chicago I.L. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, um, so I left the band late 2005, and then um, shortly after, no, six, broke up. He decided to go to on the tryout to the American Idol. No. Uh, still, that didn't happen for quite a while. I mean, oh, this really? Was, this was like, you know, almost four years ago that this all went down. So, oh, okay. Um Band broke up officially. Did you ever come on the show as Axiom? There was a huge debate. I don't think so. Okay, maybe we had you scheduled Over one point in time. Years. Yeah, I say I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> we may have been on the show. There's so I much tail that we were chasing. Who thought they were right, being the master debater? Yeah, I was, hey, that was. Eater. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That wasn't face paint. That's all it's we're saying. So, do, do you still <laughs> talk? Do you still talk to David at all? I'm sorry? Do you still talk to David? Uh, we do not speak. He yeah. doesn't return your calls. Well, after, I don't after call everything him. was said and done, he sent, us, he sent us that infamous email. We read it, and we are like, yeah, well, we'll do it. He, it was basically complaining that Somebody his, was. His, uh, his Axiom CDs mm-hmm. were being sold on eBay, and, and schmucks were paying 250 300 bucks like per CD, yeah. and he was just like, hey, this is not me selling the CDs, or at least I didn't think of it first, is uh, I think uh, kind of what he was No, it was somebody for. else was selling them, and it, well, they weren't even somebody that was related to the band. Yeah, it was it was Just some guy. Some other dude. I'm selling. She was Gene Simmons. It's like I can make a buck on this too. It's like it was like a it was, you get like a photo <laughs> CD. You're buying the photo CD with a bunch of pictures of David Cook, and then he would throw in the an Axiom CD for free. Yeah, but he had to pay like it was like eighty hundred bucks. It was it was uh, it was a, definitely a marketing deal, and he wanted to I guess put a stop to it or at least get the word out that it wasn't him doing it. And so I said, yeah, tell you what we'll do. 
we'll get the word out. We want an interview. We want an interview on the show. And so he said, okay, don't tell American Idol Press. <laughs> <Of course we laughs> they don't about like right you. On the show. And so we said, okie doke, and then we promoted it like hell that he was going to be on the show. <laughs> and he didn't call. It came down to that time, and uh, we noticed he hadn't been returning the emails about, uh, you know, hey, just want to make sure you're going to be on the show. No, that didn't happen at all. So, so anyway, uh, we do play some Axiom before, because that's when we figured that was the good David Cook. And so we still give you uh, some props here on, on the BDFS every once in a while when we can, uh, can rock some Axiom. Because uh, you guys did have a good sound back then. Yeah, it was a great band. We had yeah. a great. I mean, we we played together from 1999 all the way till 2005. So it was our you know our later adolescence. I mean, you know, all through high school and college. You know, Jeff and David and I were all roommates. All lived together. Yeah. You came did, up with a couple of albums. Did, too. Did, did David have that same hairstyle the whole time? Uh, from the time we were about 15. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, did he decide I'm going to be scruffy? Like I'm going to go with a, yeah, I'm going to be a scruffy dude. He was Billy Mays before there was a Billy Mays. <laughs> Now, now you've just gone too far, Gunner. There was no Billy Mays before Billy Mays. Uh, how much? Do we have enough time to get a, to get a song out real quick, Gunner? Uh, we got about a minute and a half. That's Two not enough time. Yet, actually, we got to not go ahead and just, uh, not enough time at all. Uh, you guys, <laughs> you said you booked a show in the parking lot before you came on to the show. Right in the hallway, about twenty minutes ago. I'm surprised one that you have cell phone reception. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? <laughs> and uh, and two, that's crazy. You're booked up almost until next year. Is that right? October thirtieth. Next October thirtieth. Oh, you're playing. The parking lot. There was some guy in the parking lot. He actually got calling from the parking lot. <laughs> it's like, hey, they just kind of walked by. Do you guys have like the like the big tour bus type deal going on? The Kiss tour bus? Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Does that make us appear bigger than it's we radio. Are. Nobody yeah. knows if you say anything otherwise. We don't see our bus. Does the tour bus have stilts on it? It's got big tires. <laughs> it actually it doesn't Huge have wheels. Tires. It's just on a couple blocks outside. Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. It's got a bunch of face paint on it, so you don't recognize it when it's not on tour. <laughs> It doesn't look like a tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> Turns into like a VW. Yeah, it's, it's really weird how that happens. Micro bus. When it's not really decked out. Uh, the uh, the show that was recorded via the you know the HD cameras and all that good stuff is that going to go like on a DVD a promotional DVD? Yeah, actually it's going to it's about two hours worth of material and it's going to be cut down into about five minutes worth Sweet. of material. So that, nice, I mean, hey, that's what happens. Yeah, a full promo video that'll be sent out to you know to obviously any club that wants to book us. How are, are you encouraging your fans to participate in uh, in your guys' act? Uh, we want to see their. Mainly. Absolutely! <laughs> See, we've been saying that since day one. Hey, speaking of how do we how do we get girls on our website to do what they do on your website and write the name of the show all over their t- cashola, and their ass, oh, cashola, yeah. and their stomach? Well, uh, well first, of, first of all, half of those are dudes, so that you should know that. Yeah, there's two girls on there. That are, they're semi decent looking. Well, one of them they're semi decent. Yeah, one of them used to be on the show. Oh, really? I'll make, a, I'll, make, with the ass I'll make a couple of phone calls. I'll make a couple of phone calls. We'll make something happen. Yeah, if we know uh, he's going to do, he's going to call me. Uh, no, no, no. What I, I know a girl, Tina, that would be totally more than willing to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Tina, Tina? Tina, Tina. Tina. Absolutely. Tina she's listening Bobina. right now, and she says, absolutely, she's we done. Love, hey, we love she you. already has the picture. She's putting them on Facebook. She, she will tag you. Big dumb fun show. Here's some axiom.